Okay, so here's our same piece of rough. And we put it in water. We're just I'm using just plain water in this little hexagon jam jar. Just this is the quick and easy and inexpensive evaluation technique. So we're lighting this thing with light coming from the direction of the camera. And we got this really great look at the Schiller flash lighting up in this thing. So we know we've got some really bright barred Schiller and it's not from this angle, it's not oppressive. It's not disqualifying this as a faceted stone because it, it doesn't look like it's going to block so much light that it's going to kill the stone. So probably, and we're going to look at it from another direction in a minute, light it a different way, but from, from this view as of right now, uh, we're going to consider this has potential to be Bard Schiller, to be a Bard Schiller presentation. Okay? So we're going to change the lighting. So now, now with the light from behind, the Schiller, instead of lighting up, is casting shadows. And we see just a couple of dark streaks right in the middle of our markings that we were thinking about having for a pair of preform. Just a couple of dark streaks in there, right there, parallel to this left-hand preform line with the Sharpie. There's a dark stripe there. That's a stripe of that Schiller. So as we look at it with this back lighting, we can see that there's not too much in there. There's plenty of light that can travel around it. So that's telling us there's not too much Schiller. We're going to get a nice barred Schiller presentation if we orient this way and if we cut the stone. 